Hey everybody, this is Black Server once more, and I want to talk about some something late I, I want to do, but I didn't get a chance to. So, from last week, I watched E3. What I think of it is, I think it's okay. Um, nothing bad, nothing good. So, but I want to start my topics like worst to la worst to last. So, I want to talk about more about something I want to get in mind about, and this topic will be Nintendo first. So, Nintendo, um, what the fuck happened? I mean. You've been so been so attached to us back in our childhood, and, and this is the best you got. In my opinion, I in my opinion, I think Star Fox Zero got my ticket, Fire Emblem got my ticket, Legend of Zelda, of course. I'm, I'm, I also enjoyed Legend of Zelda as well, and so okay Mario. But the rest of it, it just feels like what the fuck happened? Like Metroid, feel like a downgraded version, some like a downgraded version of Call of Duty or something. And then there's other games like the Yoshi's Yarn. Yarn. I mean, yeah, I feel like is this all you got, Nintendo? Does this, this make you itch to buy your games? I just feel like no one. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing really any franchise. I'm just quite disappointed, and I want to see more of that in coming next year. And I feel like they should reveal more on the next Met Metroid game. I mean, there's no F Zero, no Kirby, no. Well, actually, there's a Mother remake, but there's no new Mother series. It's just I feel kind of down about that stuff. It's just not something that we want wanted at the fans. But I'm always down for a new franchise game, but I just feel like it's not there. <laughs> anyway, besides that, uh, for the next one will be Microsoft. Well, I say the backwards compatibility. I'm like mixed up feelings this and that, but the way I look at the list so far, I'm not getting mad about it because it's just the starting, but I think in my foreshadowing that I'm going to put more games in the future. I feel like that's pretty a good plus for Xbox. I mean, we get to play our previous Xbox game games and give our actually 360. And I I've been having this arcade uh, arcade edition X, uh, Xbox for quite some time. <laughs> it still works. No Red Ring of Death yet. And and I'm am I planning to get rid of soon if I get the backwards compatibility for the new Xbox? Well, it really depends. So it really depends if I want if I got the money. <laughs> but other, other than that. There's a new Gears of War game, which I'm hyped about, which I'm really excited for, so I'm hoping I can see everyone, everyone but Dom, <laughs> everyone come back, especially Coltrane, especially him. And as for Sony, Sony really hit the ball. I, I say I was really impressed. The Horizon game was really beautiful. There's a lay shooting destroy. Dinosaurs are machines that literally take over the, like an early post-apocalypse era. It looks really amazing. I love the graphics, the animation, the animations. Everything about that game was looked really fun, and I can't wait to, to check it out more in the future. And also that dream game that you make your own animation looks really neat too. It was it, it really enjoyable. I want to see see more of that too. And also other than that, we got a new Shenmue game, which which thanks to Kickstarter, I think the Kickstarter was the best was the best website that's ever created, and the one. And, and it blow out the, 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 the results too. Like in the next like 40, like 24 to 48 hours, they already pa passed their goals already. It was amazing. I uh, I wanted to check that out too. And think about Shenmue. I think I want to play it on my playthroughs in the future if I ever get a Dreamcast or please don't switch. Maybe switch to emulator. <laughs> I don't want to play emulator right now on on the on the Dreamcast. But I really think it really depends on my graphics card if it, if it can handle it. Other than that, next one will be um, a new remake of Final Fantasy VII. Do you remember like last year about the HD, that Final Fantasy VII HD on the PC version? I think that guy was trolling. <laughs> I feel like I, I got trolled to death other than other couple people. And I feel I feel like this new re this new remake right there, it just blew, blew me away to see the new remake of Final Fantasy VII. I'm really excited to see it. And I'm um, hopeful I can see some people are just people just be excited about seeing Cloud getting cross dress, the new Genova theme, the Genova recreating uh, model thing. What, what else am I looking for? I can't wait to see the freaking weapons coming in H H an HD remake. Oh, uh, it'll be really, it'll be really exciting. It's just, just, just what I think about. It. it makes me want to play Final Fantasy VII again. Other than that, there is a also a new Call of Duty game, which is Black Ops um, Black Ops 3. I feel like this is not 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 a new Call of Duty. I think it's like a brand new Call of Duty. Not even the old Call of Duty no more. Everyone's all futuristic. They have a, a slide where you shoot. You got a, a wall jump. You got an EMP gauntlet. I mean, it feels like they, they got more evolved. 
and one thing they're missing is the campaign. Will it be better? Will it be stronger than, than ever? Not really stronger than ever, I take that back. It will it be strong will it be a better story than the other previous games? Uh it's gonna be pretty pretty hard because most of the stories on, on Call of Duty are not that great in my opinion. Most are forgettable. But I'm really hoping that uh, I can see I can see a better story and a better campaign other than just multiplayer in general. So other than that I think Call of Duty won my ticket too. Other than that, there's another Inchart another Uncharted game. There's a lot of games I want to talk about, especially if, like, for all Sony things, but I won't get enough time for this video. <laughs> but I also want to talk about this the last one, it'll be Street Fighter 5. How I feel about it. Like other players say, I knew it was going to be pretty slow when I first saw it. It was a little slow, it was pretty slow. It was pretty slow, but I think based on that, it was back in where um, Street Fighter 2 came around, and it's probably just be just as slow as that one. That's because that's kind of typical for any Street Fighter game. It's kind of slow, uh, slow uh, controlling. As for animation, they look really beautiful. Everything's all uh, see, buffed up, buffed up like compared to the last track. I think everything is a little more smooth, smoother than, than before. But I feel like the new Street Fighter Five will be a brand new Street Fighter. It's not like the same thing as before uh, than other Street Fighter games. I mean, you got a new V Trigger, which Ryu brings back his parry. He can do a Dungeon Hadouken now. And then there's other uh, characters who have different kinds of builds for V Trigger, so I think V Trigger is going to be the real thing. Other than using Revenge Meter or Ultra Meter. <laughs> I thought today. So, other than that, and also the revealed Cami and Birdie in the game, too. I think I knew. Uh, for all the characters for Alpha, Birdie was one of them in, in the game. I say, I say I'd rather have Karen over Birdie, because I feel like Birdie is just. I don't, I don't really satisfy with Birdie's design that much, especially especially when he's overweight in that in this version <laughs> compared to his six pack abs. <laughs> and also Cameo, of course Cameo's gonna be there since she is the the eye candy for the series. The eye candy for the series. <laughs> other than that, I wanna see other characters I wanna make uh, make it is that uh, Dudley uh, is one of the characters I wanna see make it. Karen's also one I wanna see that makes it and some a couple of third strike characters too. I feel like they need a chance to shine you know, who, who they are. I really want to see Alex make it too this time, but other than that, um, I think Street Fighter Five is going the well as as I see it. I'm just hoping to see the new characters come around. But if I see ever see Guy in that game, in that game, I will definitely play it. <laughs> but other than that, I want to see my girl Karen come back too. So other than that, that's all I want to say about ET. Oh, I forgot one more thing. Um, please. Uh, just as a FGC fellow, as a friend, as a FGC fellow, fellow for myself, uh, um, uh, freaking um, the Super Arcade one over at uh, I used to call Asusa City, Asusa City, City or City of Asusa, whatever. <laughs> Looks like their uh, permit have been denied by the by the government. So, people, uh, Mike Watson is trying, not Mike Watson, but what? No, not a person is making a petition for um, Super Arcade in in that permit. I'm um, one of the guys who signed for it, and um, uh, we're asking for for your help for getting Super Arcade back back in business and stuff. So they're making a petition for the permit. I'll list up the link for you. So try to help them. Try to help them. Give them some signatures and help out the community so they get Super Big Super Arcade back in order. Because I kind of miss Wednesday Night Fights. I feel like this is another community that should be more honorable, respectable, and pretty much the the main city of F FGC that started from right there at Super Arcade. And I feel like. This one should should be more be assistant and help help out. So, what do you do? Help them sign the petition so they get the permit so Super Arcade be alive once more. Because I want to see Super Arcade get back on its roots once more, and I want to see that happen. Too, so, and I don't want to get the chance to come there too if I ever go to North Carolina or North Carolina Regional or something. Get a chance to go to wall, uh, go there and check out the Super Arcade once more. Other than that, uh, I think that's all I want to say. Thank you for watching and